guys so much for having me here today. I'm so glad to be here at Lowell Elementary. And I'm going to talk to you guys today about the power of words. Can you say with me, words have power. Words have power. And I can tell you from my own life that I've experienced the power of words. I've experienced the power of hurtful words, and I've experienced the power of good words that build up. So as you can see, I look a little different, and that's because I was born like this. So I have been like this my whole life, and I, so I was born with partial limbs. And they don't really know why. This is just how I was made in my mommy's tummy, and this is how I came out. And so I've been like this my whole life. And the great thing is, though, that I had really amazing parents, and they did speak good words to me. And they told me, you can do anything if you put your mind to it. And those kind of words, that's why I'm successful today. This is what I do for a living. I get to go around and talk to kids like you and schools and talk to them about the power of words because of my own story. So when I was in school, though, I did experience getting teased. And a lot of times, if someone looks different, that's your first reaction is you want to laugh at them or make fun of them. But I can just tell you from my own experience, when I got teased, it made me feel sad, it made me feel angry, and it made me feel scared to come to school sometimes. But you know what? I've also experienced positive words from family and friends and, and people around me, and they have said things like, you're beautiful just the way you are. You're perfect just the way you are. And your story is powerful, and you're going to change people's lives. Those kinds of words built me up and they took away the hurtful words. So I want to ask you guys a couple questions. And Miss Mary here has a microphone, and she's going to come around, and, and you get to answer some questions in the microphone. So the first question I have for you, you can raise your hand. How many of you have had someone say something hurtful to you? And how did that make you feel when someone said something hurtful? Angry. Like I wasn't good enough. Annoyed. Sad. Annoyed. Okay, so overall, not it, it, it's not very good. It doesn't make people people feel good. But how many of you have had somebody say something really nice to you that made you smile, that made your day? And how did that make you feel? Really good. Happy. I was in a number. Oh, that's good. Happy. You know what? I want to go back to what she said, that you didn't feel like a number. I think sometimes we can feel kind of invisible, right? How many of you, how many of you here have felt invisible, like no one really sees you? And you know what? Guess what? You guys can make each other not feel invisible by using positive words and actions towards each other. Because nobody wants to feel that way. I felt that way, too. But you know what? When someone comes to me and they say something powerful and positive, I don't feel invisible. I feel good. And you guys all have the power to do that with each other. OK, so words have power. And we're going to talk about superheroes, because superheroes also have power.